this ass? Yeah. Is, is cereal a, a soup? I don't know. Just Google it. <laughs> Do the straws have one hole or two? I don't know. Just Google it. <laughs> is water actually wet? When we have a big question, or a silly little one, there's one place that most of us go. In fact, 99,000 people are Googling something every second. So how did one company become synonymous for looking things up on the internet? Take a spin, now you're in with the techno set. You're going surfing on the internet. Back in the early days of the internet, finding what you wanted was a little trickier. First, you need to know that everything on the internet has an address, and all web addresses start with HTTP colon double backslash. So to make things easier, search engines were invented. They're basically programs that organize the internet for us and make websites easier to find. And there used to be lots of them. We read. Which orange do you think came first, the color or the fruit? Hmm. Oh, let's ask Jeeves. Okay, um... Uh... Yeah, this was a search engine, along with this and this and this. Most worked by looking for keywords in web pages and ordering results by how many times the word appeared. Then, in 1998, these two guys launched a new search engine that they called, yep, Google. Google used a slightly different way of ranking pages, which prioritised the most popular and commonly linked to pages. And it was a big success. In the 2000s, Google exploded. We got Google Image Search, Google News, Google Maps, Gmail. In 2005, they bought the smartphone operating system Android. And in 2006, they bought YouTube. Google also made a lot of money by selling ads and using people's searches to make them more targeted. Today, 90% of searches online go through Google and 95% on smartphones. The site is so popular that it's become a verb. Google it. And some say that's a problem. You see, when any company gets too big, it makes it harder for others to compete which is bad for everybody, because it means there's less pressure on them to do a good job and less opportunity for others to do something better. It's why many countries have laws designed to stop that from happening. And recently, Google was found guilty of breaking those laws in the US. The court said Google spent billions of dollars to deliberately make it harder for other companies to compete. So they've been found guilty of specifically exclusive contracts with both uh, Apple and Samsung as being the default engine uh, within their services. Google says it hasn't done anything wrong and that its search engine is only popular because, well, it's good. It plans to appeal the court's decision. Meanwhile, the court is still working out how to punish Google for breaking the law. It could be forced to sell parts of its business or even share its data with rivals. But, uh, yeah, nothing's been decided yet. So, as for the future of the world's most popular search engine, well, that's one thing we can't Google the answer to just yet. <laughs>